Chapter 12 Agriculture and Livestock India is one of the largest agricultural countries in the world. Agriculture is the most important occupation of the people. More than 70% of India's population is connected to agriculture. India has a favorable climate for growing crops. Nature has gifted our country with rich fertile soil, enough water for irrigation and suitable climate, which help in growing crops almost throughout the year. Types of Crops There are two major crops grown in India food crops, cash crops. Food crops The major food crops are rice, wheat, millets, pulses and maize. These crops are mainly used as the staple diet of the people. Cash crops. Farmers grow some crops only for sale in the market. They are called cash crops. The major cash crops are oil seeds, cotton, sugarcane, spices, tobacco, tea and coffee. Food crops. Wheat. Wheat is the main food crop of North India. Wheat grows in places with a cool and moist climate. It is sown during November to January and harvested during March-April. The northern plains of India are called the Wheat Bowl of India. It is grown in the states of Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, etc. Rice Rice is one of the main crops of India. It is grown in a hot and humid climate. India is the second largest producer of rice in the world. Rice grows well in places where good amount of water is available. The main rice producing areas are West Bengal, Bihar, Odisha, Assam, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana and Tamil Nadu. Pulses Pulses are rich in proteins. They are also used as fodder for cattle. Hence, they are grown on a large scale. Bengal Gram, Green Gram Black gram are some of the pulses. Millets. Millets are known as dry crops. They are grown in areas of Rajasthan, Bihar, Karnataka and Gujarat where low rainfall is received. Jawa, Bajra and Ragi are millets. Cash crops. Cotton. Cotton is a fiber crop used for making cloth. India is the leading producer of cotton. The black oil is most suitable for growth of cotton. The main cotton producing states are Maharashtra, Gujarat, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh and Punjab. Oil seeds. Oil seeds include groundnut, sesame, mustard, castor seed, dry coconut or copra, sunflower and linseed. The oil that we use for cooking comes from oil seeds. It is called vegetable oil. Sugarcane. Sugarcane is used in the production of sugar and jaggery, ga. India is the largest producer of sugarcane in the world. Sugarcane is grown in the states of Uttar Pradesh, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Jute. Jute is also known as golden fiber. It grows well in a hot and wet climate. It is used for making carpets, mats, bags, ropes and gunny sacks. The major jute producing areas are Bihar, Odisha and Assam. Tea and coffee. Tea is a major beverage crop. Tea grows well on the hill slopes of Assam, Darjeeling, Nilgiri Hills and Kangra. Cough and cocoa are largely produced in Kerala, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Spices. Spices include cinnamon, clove, pepper, chilies, ginger and cardamom. The Malabar coast in Karnataka and Kerala is the main producer of spices. Government Initiatives for Farmers After independence, the government has taken many initiatives for improving and increasing agricultural production. More areas have been brought under irrigation with the help of river valley projects. Chemical fertilizers and manures are being used by farmers for improving the quality of soil. Modern machines such as tractors, harvesters, and better agricultural tools are used for tilling the land. Better quality seeds are being provided to the farmers. All these measures have helped in increasing agricultural production. Livestock rearing. Livestock refers to domestic animals that are used for food, fiber and labor. 
Livestock rearing is an important part of agriculture. Milch animals such as cow, buffalo and goat provide us milk. Milk products such as curd, cheese and butter are important parts of our food. Oxen and bulls help in plowing the fields and pulling the carts. Donkeys, camels, horses, wax and mules act as beasts of burden. Sheep provide wool on meat. Rearing of chicken, hens and ducks for their meat, and eggs is called poultry farming. In our villages, farmers occupy themselves in both agriculture and animal rearing simultaneously. This type of occupation is known as mixed farming. Green Revolution There have been many changes in the methods of agriculture in our country. High-yielding varieties of seeds are being used. There has also been an increase in the use of fertilizers and irrigation. Large areas of land have been brought under cultivation. Farmers have been provided with better facilities like loans, better seeds fertilizers and modern machinery which have helped in increasing the production of crops. All this has made India's health sufficient in the production of food grains. This is known as the Green Revolution of India.